The conference championship round is here and I'm going all in on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this weekend. First up is the lowest value quarterback of the weekend, Tom Brady at just $6,100. He's a lock to throw for multiple touchdowns as he's done so in the majority of his games this season, including the last time he faced Green Bay when they beat them 38 to 10. And if you look at the stats, Brady's throwing for a ton of yardage in the second half of the season, and he's got 17 touchdowns and just one interception in his last six games. He may not have the best defensive matchup this weekend, but Tom Brady in the playoffs is something you just don't bet against. At running back, it's Ronald Jones of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Only $4,600 for this guy. He's a better value than Lennon Fournette. Now that Ronald Jones is looking healthy, He's getting the workload. He has 25 carries and 140 yards and a touchdown in his last two games. And he's been the most consistent running back for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this entire season. I think this ends up being a Rojo type game against a terrible Green Bay run defense. At the wide receiver position, I've got two of them for you and they both play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's right, I'm going with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Incredible values for these two. You'll never see it again. $5,800 for Mike Evans, $5,400 for Chris Godwin. And these guys are just touchdown machines with Tom Brady throwing to them. Chris Godwin has 40 targets in his last five games. These two have been incredible in this offense. Obviously with Tom Brady throwing to them helps a ton. And I think that regardless of the matchup, these two are gonna feast this weekend against the Green Bay Packers. Finally at the tight end position, I'm sticking in the NFC, but this time I'm switching over to the Green Bay Packers. It's Robert Tanyan. He's only valued at $3,600. What a value at the tight end position. He scored a touchdown in six of his last eight games. He's such a reliable target for Aaron Rodgers, and I believe that he's going to see an increase in targets in this game as he tries to keep up with Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. That's going to do it for this episode of Fantasy Dilemma. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe wherever you're watching this video. Comment down below. Let us know who you plan on playing in your DFS lineups. Who's a value to you? Let us know. And we'll talk to you next week.